touching the truth. Alright, what is going on guys? It's Havix here, and today we're going to be making a video on something a little bit different. I know I said that in every single video, but yeah, so in my last video I was playing this game called Asoluto, I think is how you say it. And it's like a, uh, it's a mobile Gran Turismo pretty much. And now, in this video here, I'm going to be playing the mobile Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now, this is based off the 2012 game, not the 2005 game, so it's obviously not going to be that good. But in my opinion, this game is actually better than the console and PC version. And the reason why is because if you go to the garage here, you actually have to buy the cars, which makes sense. Unlike in the, in the, you know, normal version of the game, I guess I'll just call it, you could just drive around and pick whatever car you want. So there's actually some type of progression in this game, which is weird because that seems like something they do in the mobile game. The mobile game seems like the one that would have no progression at all and it just gives you every car, but nope. So I've actually played this a little bit. Uh, right now I have this here. It's the uh, most wanted number eight. I don't even know how many I've already done. I think I've done a couple. So I've already beat two of them. And this guy, he has a Maserati Gran Turismo. So let's go and try to beat him, I guess. This is also the first time I've ever recorded a video using the Apple record feature. From what I've heard, it's terrible. So hopefully this actually works. I'm really hoping it doesn't just randomly cut out because That'll get kind of annoying, so I'll, I'll swipe down on the screen and check every once in a while. You can see here we got this little, uh, this little, not animation, uh, I guess you could call it an animation. But yeah, now let's go. Also, I modded the engine, which is really easy in this game. There's no actual mods, you literally just tap power pack and it gives you more horsepower. I, I really wish it was a little bit more like Need for Speed 2015 or something, but oh well, 20% battery. I should probably plug this in. That might be smart. All right, there we go. We're good. And uh, let's get back into the game. I just hit that Ford F-150. I think it was what it was. I don't know. I'm not a truck guy, but yeah. So I don't know if these are actually, or if the maps are actually based off of areas in the game. I feel like they might be, but also I don't remember an area looking like this, so probably isn't. But it does have a very similar like art style, which I, I, I'm glad they got that right. You know, they they made the game better than the console version, in my opinion. Like I was saying, and like it looks almost as good as the console version. I mean, you guys will see it on a bigger screen if you're watching it on a computer or something so obviously it's gonna look a little bit more pixelated and you can see the low-res textures but from playing it on the phone I have is an iPhone 6s plus it looks almost as good as the console port and um, physics though I mean physics are about the same as the console port to be honest uh, but I'm about to lose this so because this will make it so I don't have to pay for my mods again let me just restart here also I don't know if you could take people down in the mobile version I know you can in well, on like PC you can ram into them and knock them out but I don't know if that's a thing on here which I mean that's if it isn't that's another plus like this game feels like a legitimate need for speed it feels like one of the ones before they started doing open world like uh, like underground one because it's got cops that you can ram into and take out unlike 2015 uh, it has other racers that you can't ram into and take out unlike the actual 2012 it's closed track it has progression I mean the only thing it's really missing is a story which I mean it's most wanted 2012 you're you you do not expect them to write a completely new story just for the mobile port of it but yeah I don't know what studio made this I know they have like the monkey logo but I don't know what their what like the company's name is but they did a good job and I think they also made hot pursuit on mobile which I really like that game too I actually played the mobile versions of these games before I played the actual one because I didn't have them. Well, I had I had a PS3, but the only game like for racing, or I, I had Gran Turismo. I think I had Need for Speed. I I don't even know. I had The Run. I think it was, and then I had uh, Burnout Paradise. 
so I didn't have any of like the newer-ish ones. I mean, Most Wanted 2012 wasn't really, isn't really new now, but it was then. But now we got this, uh, this Maserati Gran Turismo, and there's a couple more races. So you can see you actually have to do some races to unlock the other ones, which still progression it's better than the actual game um still i don't think speed points have any use i don't i don't know why they exist they're just kind of they're just kind of there I, oh maybe they're used as prog uh, i don't even think they're used for progression no these just give you speed points i'm, I'm guessing it's something kind of like gamer score you know it, it's really not used for anything it ju it's just kind of there but as you can see i also have the tesla roadster which i i have a little bit of a problem with this game and if i, if I find an open event i'll show you because it, it bothers me a lot open okay so if i go to the uh the tesla roadster which hopefully i'll be able to use it there's the maserati i think i have it bought but i'm not sure actually i think there's an easier way to uh check this sports car there we go okay so you guys obviously know teslas are electric cars okay there's no way you can put nitrous on an electric car there's there's no real way to tune an electric car i feel like you might be able to but not to like the extent that you can with a, a normal uh engine but if you go here, you got reinflating tires, that makes sense, impact protection, reinforced chassis, all this stuff makes sense, until you go down here and you see nitrous refuel, nitrous burn, and power pack. So, I'm gonna put both these on, even though they really should not be put on a Tesla, because it, a Tesla's an electric car. I think it's like that in the, in the console version too, you can put nitrous on a Tesla. I don't know why, but then again, nitrous in real life doesn't spit blue flames out of the exhaust. Yes, I know, any of you guys who haven't, or who didn't know that, are now probably disappointed. Uh, what does spit flames out of your exhaust is two-step, and in my opinion, that's cooler. <laughs> But yeah, the, at least they didn't make it shoot flames, but then again, there is no exhaust on a Tesla. They made it make a little bit of sense, I guess. Maybe it's like, they probably could have called it something different, like like made it like overclocking or something like that. That probably would have made more sense than nitrous. Because if any of you guys don't know how NOS works, it's not, you know, a, a blue flame shooting out of your exhaust that propels the car forwards as playing burnout and stuff would probably make you think. Uh, it's actually actually gas that is sent to the engine, uh, nitrous gas obviously, nitrous oxide, it's sent to the engine which then gives it more air, which then can make it run better. That's a very basic uh, explanation of how it works, but yeah. And you can't have that if you have an electric motor because the air goes nowhere because you don't need air to make power. Also quickly, let me check if this is still recording. Alright, it is, we're good. I'm, I'm really paranoid at, about that because I've heard from a lot of people that there's a common issue with it just like cutting out randomly. So anyway, a little bit off topic, but actually tomorrow, the day I'm recording this, or today, the day I'm uploading it, uh, I might be going to like a little, a little car show or car meet because there's one pretty close to me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up going or not because we do have a lot of stuff that's kind of going on tomorrow, but if I get the chance, I mean, I'm, I'm probably not gonna make, I'm obviously not gonna like make a video there, but I don't know, just something, something cool, I guess. I was talking to my dad and apparently, uh, like when I was like eight, he took me to some, some show and I was able to sit in like a Model A. I do not remember that at all, but I really hope I got a picture of it because I actually want to see it. You would think I'd remember something like that, but then again, I can barely remember what I had for breakfast this morning, so... So, it kind of makes sense that I don't remember it. But yeah, anyway, back onto the game. Like I was saying, uh, th this game is pretty, pretty close, like, graphically. I mean, for a mobile game. Uh, to the console version. I mean, obviously it's not perfect, and, uh, if you were playing it with, like, a 1080p screen... Could you stop? I, I hate the AI in this game, and the physics. Uh, and because he, I, they wedge you up against a wall, which is like, I don't know, like, th what they do is they wedge you up against a wall and take you to a complete stop, which, they're not gonna be able to bust you from that because, you know, they, you could literally go into reverse and just back out of there, but it's literally just there to annoy you. I don't know if that was intentional, or if it's just their AI being dumb, but, like, 
whoever designed that and thought, you know what, this is a good gameplay mechanic, uh, needs to get fired if, if this studio even exists still, which it probably doesn't. Let's see, what type of cars do we got here? RS500, some Lancia, or Lancia, whatever. Mitsubishi Lancer Evo X, which is probably what I'm going to use, a Subaru in and out. So yeah, we're going to use the Evo because why wouldn't you? Uh, we're going to put a power pack on here because it makes winning races 50 times easier. And it only costs, I think, like $4,000. And if you win the race, you get 13000 So you, you're still getting 9000 from winning. It's not that big of a deal. You don't lose that much. But yeah, as you can see here, off the start with that, I'm just gapping everyone. I'm already in third, and about to be in first. It, it, it's kind of like, if you guys remember from those uh, those old Mario games, I think... Actually, it's not even an old game, but I think it was uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2. I, I had a 3DS a few years ago, I don't even know why I had it. It was, it was actually a lot... Wow, that's an old console, now that I think of it. It's been around for like a decent amount of time. But on my uh, on my old 3DS, I had New Super Mario Bros. 2, and on that, if you died so much, it would give you like this invincibility power up. That's pretty much what the power pack is, you know. It makes it so it's literally impossible to lose unless you're just sitting there, standing still for like 10 minutes. Then maybe you might lose. But you can see they're not even on the map anymore. They're just gone. Also, can we just appreciate for a second how good the Evo 10 looks? I mean, some people will say that the other Evos look better, which, in my opinion, I really like the look of, like, the first few Evos. They all look basically the same. But, like, if you guys watch uh, the YouTuber Ricer Miata, which I do because his videos are great, if you guys don't, look him up. Uh, but he has an Evo 1. Uh, that looks good. The Evo... 8 and 9, I think they look pretty similar. I really like the look of those, and I don't know. I feel like in between, they all look pretty similar, too. But those and the 10 are my favorite. Which I mean is pretty much saying I like the way all the Evos look, but you know. And then when you go over to Subarus, the only ones I really like are the Bug Eye, uh, the Blob Eye, and then like whatever one was before. I think it's like the Angry Eye or something. I don't I don't know what all the generations are on that. Whatever the one before the Bug Eye is, the Bug Eye, and then the Blob Eye I like. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end this video because it's going... I've been going on for about 20 minutes, so if you guys enjoyed it at all, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Uh, if you guys want to buy this game, I'll have the link to the App Store. If you guys are on an Android, just look it up on the on the Google Play Store. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video at all, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>